the U Morning Show. This morning show is brought to you by St. Jerome Student Union and the Arts Endowment Fund. Here are our hosts today, Chris Fox Beller, Sebastian Kundra, John Turner, and Monique Bevan. Hey everyone. Hello, good morning. How's everyone doing? Good, how are doing you? Doing pretty good today. I think this, we have an exciting show lined up. Yes, and look at the space we've been provided by St. Jerome's Community Commons. Just so you guys know, the Community Commons is having an event. It's a cocktail mixer on November 10th, so everyone should come out to see that. For sure, definitely. We, we should say a mocktail people. though, right? Well, yes. Did yeah. I say something else? You said cocktail, but... Oh, my mistake, yes. <laughs> mocktail event. Mocktail, yes. Yeah. Right. Alright, so what's our first topic for today? Well, I don't know if our viewers know about this, but KFC just released a new sandwich called the Double Down. Now, what's so exciting about this sandwich, it is considered to be one of the biggest health concerns in Canada. That's alarming. Yeah. I did think I did read something about that in the imprint. Yeah. And they've had it in the States for a while, but right now it's just a promotional item here in Canada? No, well, I, they've I decided to extend it, so it's no longer going to be a promotional offer in Canada. They're going to extend its lifetime because it's the fastest uh, growing KFC product in Canadian history. Yeah. What is the double down? Is it like a oh chicken burger or something? Is scary. It, what, it's two pieces of chicken, uh, chicken fillets. Yeah. I don't know if they offer it grilled here in Canada just yet, but right now it's just their original uh, their chicken. Fried chicken, fried yeah, chicken, fried remember? Chicken. With um, yeah. Monterey Jack cheese and two pieces of bacon squeezed in between these two pieces. And there's no bun or anything like that. It's just a sandwich. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, that sounds disgusting. It is yeah. so disgusting. They say it can raise levels of heart attack, that it's just. It's bad news, basically. It's it's going to be it's alarming. Know. But yeah. the fact that it's the fastest selling sandwich in KFC history in Canada, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's kind of sad. I heard they're promoting it as like a, a man sandwich, which is why it's doing so well in sales with like that uh, sort of that group consumer that, group. Yeah. Mm. I feel like people are just buying it to say that they've tried it. Yeah. Would you want to try it? No, me? I have not eaten that KFC since. Uh, I don't know, I was 10 or something. But you wouldn't want to try it no. even, no? I definitely wouldn't. I don't think so, I'm trying to be careful and that's that's not a good thing. <laughs> okay, no, but we should make it packed and on the next show we should all have a double down. Uh, I don't think so. I think no, we'll, I we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Just yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> well, in regards to that, I've definitely heard that it's more of a health concern in Canada than it is in the States. Like the sodium mm -hmm. levels and stuff are actually higher here. Yeah. I, oh, that's interesting. Because they're saying, oh, Canadians have a particular taste for KFC. Which mm. is, and so it, like, yeah. it kind of sad. has a different yeah. sort of feel to it or taste to it, which is why it's less healthy here. Hmm. Well, you know what isn't a health concern? The first year Connections event that's going to take place in the den in this awesome space. It's going to be Color Your Stress Away. So you're mm. going to be making tie dye t shirts with all of your first year. Uh, classmates and really getting involved with that and it takes place on Tuesday November 16th from 2 to 5 p.m. So be sure to check that out. That's really mm -hmm. exciting. I know I can yeah. do it a little bit de-stressing. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you really want to like, you know, get active and avoid the double downer, SJ is having community service day on November 13th. That's a Saturday run by uh, Students Union. So uh, be there and don't be at KFC. So what's our next topic? I think our next topic is in regards to Veterans Day coming up, and uh, oh, yes. now poppies are being sold at Shoppers Drug Marts and uh, on streets and everywhere basically you can get your poppy, and so we're just kind of promoting the idea of making sure to, to support your groups and, and buy a poppy and, and show your support for our veterans. You know what's great about the poppies this year? The Ontario government is actually, and the federal government, both governments have lobbied together and they're not, they're no longer going to be charging legions the tax money on the poppies that they buy. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I'm surprised they haven't done that. I know. Well, are poppies sent in the mail too, though? I know I got the yeah, yeah, they are. And you can actually, they come with a donation uh, check also. So you can also write a donation when you to get those. Yeah. Oh, exactly. wait, how does that work with the mail? I've never heard of that. Um, well, they just come on the back of your poppy envelope, but mm -hmm. now especially it's more important to go out and get those poppies because now the mail is giving away sticker poppies, so they're not even giving away all these, the pinned poppies. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. That's better for the kids, I think. I agree, because yeah. like with the Absolutely. pins and stuff like that, I, I, I don't know. Kids yeah. my, at my age, when I was like little, they used to just like take the pins and like stab their thumbs and stuff like that, just being silly. And they oh, still so. drive me nuts even to this day. I hate pins. Mm -hmm. It's also important to wear your poppies over your heart also, because some people try to like wear a hundred of them, put them on their pants or stuff, but it's really just meant to be placed on your heart in remembrance of... Mm. Well, I've seen people have them on their hat or something like that as well, and that's yeah. not that bad, but... 
I agree, but when yeah. you know when you have the hundred poppies and it becomes a little tacky. Well, because I think you lose the message there. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's all about show. Yeah. Anyways, um. Okay. Well, announcement <laughs> for. Can we can we just stop this for a second? Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, that's okay. Continuous track. What happened? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Okay, um, just an announcement for all you SJ students. Come out to the social media lecture. Um, it's going to be talking about the importance of Facebook and a whole bunch of the other social media going on. It's Thursday, November 18th from 7 till 9 p.m. at St. Jerome's. That sounds like such a fantastic event. Yeah, yeah. interesting. There's a cost to that event, though, right? Um, there yes. is. It is ten dollars per person, so not too much money. It's pretty no, affordable. No, no, no. I would definitely be going if I hadn't like. I might actually try to get off work just so I can go to that event. Yeah, and if any of you yeah. are starting to try your own business, um, get a job or anything, this would be actually really great for you to check out. That sounds out. fantastic. Yeah, because social media great. affects our everyday life, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's becoming so much more popular. Well, how many times a day? Like, have you gone on Facebook today? It's still morning. Have you actually gone on Facebook yet? Um, actually, not yet today. Really? But really I probably will be as soon as I go. What was the last thing you found on Facebook, though? I think it was something about a celebrity divorce or something. Um, yeah, actually, it was about the divorce of Courtney Cox and David Arquette. Oh, yes. I don't know either of them, so why don't you fill me in on that? Okay, well, Courtney Cox is actually, she was a member on Friends. Yeah. She was okay. Monica yeah. on Friends, right? right? I like to talk yeah. a lot. Yeah. And then um, David Arquette, I can't They think. met on the set of Scream 4. He starred in dozens of movies in the 1990s. Mm -hmm. And they've been married, I think, for 10 years? 11. 11. 11. Mm -hmm. And they had their daughter, Coco. Coco? Cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. And she's um, six now. Yeah. So oh, wow. they were like, they've always been in the magazine about being like such a strong, having such mm -hmm. a strong relationship, like all this stuff. And now all of a sudden, it's come out that they are getting separated. And there was allegations. I mean, that they had an open marriage, or but you know, they've always fought through that, and they've always stayed together. And it's just really tragic news. So yeah. it was it just a lot of media slamming, or is there actually like a legit concern as to why they're splitting up? Well, some people said that like they cheated on one another, or but you know what was interesting is that Courtney Cox said in a magazine article to People a Magazine in July that the stuff that makes you fall in love with the person uh, is often the stuff that you can't stand about the person, and That's it just never goes away, really? right? Wow. So you think you can live with it, but you actually can after a prolonged Keep time. That in mind. <laughs> Never try to get into a relationship thinking you can change a person because that's yeah, like one yeah. of the worst that things you can do. No, no, you can't do that. Because mm -hmm, it's just, just like yeah. it, you're not really going to change much about them, and that's just going to drive you insane, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. You know what I don't like watching though? I hate watching like the television coverage of them asking like David's uh, driving Coco to school and the media are there asking him questions about the marriage. I mean, that's so inappropriate. I mean, does everybody really need to know about it? I mean, it's their marriage. It should be private. As far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't be any of our business what they do. Well, it, how much effect does it really have on us? I mean, exactly. I didn't know about the, their marriage or anything like that. And well, I'm sad that, that, that well, I was going to say, sure, it's well. sad that, um, that you know they were the perfect couple and they were always seen as the ones that would never divorce, but. You know, things do come to an end. Should we really be that concerned with it? Well, I think what the think? fascination is, is that especially Scream 4 is coming out. They're both co-starring in Scream 4. She's on a new show, a second season, Cougar Town yeah, on ABC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's actually her boss on the show. I'm like, not on the show, but he executive produces it, so... He's starting to come up with his own show, too. Interesting. I think he's producing wow. his own you show. Know what it's, it's interesting how it comes I'm out in sure. the when they're divorcing. Do you know yeah. what the new show is about? Or that's what I think Chris was asking. Um, no. I read it, but I do not remember. I think it's just mm -hmm. interesting. Maybe that kind of alludes to what's really going on in the relationship. If they're so... Their time is at home, their time is at work, there's no real space. Mm -hmm. There's on there's top no of time one for them to spend just together. together. And then there's work stress that just comes home and becomes home stress. It's like yeah. all the time. I could see... Especially if he's her own boss. Exactly. I would, I would think that'd be just and even more stress. And the show's taking in the ratings this <coughs> second season. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? ABC's talking about canceling it, so... Wow. Well, right there, there's high yeah, stress there, too. Well, the first thing I thought about them getting divorced was that she's found a younger man on Cougar Town. <laughs> yes, I, I know. I read oh, that. Interesting. But you know who is getting fired for sure? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mel Gibson is getting fired. Uh, Mel Gibson oh, no. was fired from The Hangover 2, the sequel. 
And I mean, we all know what Mel Gibson's been in the media for these last couple of months. What so role what would he even play in Hangover that? 2? Well, yeah. supposedly I feel like he, would he was fit supposed in. to play like a tattoo biker or something. He was a tattoo oh. artist, and apparently he was supposed to be very critical to the plot. But now they're just going to have to uh, Recast, you know, redo maybe. it. And it wasn't they even an executive decision. It was just that the, the cast members didn't like it. So then the executive producers were like, okay, we have to fire him. But initially they weren't wanting to do that. That's alarming. I wonder what kind of took place that got him. Fire well, I mean, he's I know, he's driven because... drunk. He's shouted racial slurs. I mean, uh, these but, are but, this is why they didn't like but him. But not only yeah. that, that's really surprising. Is that back in two thousand six, he's had all those issues. He came clean. He came up with his new movie, Edge of Darkness. He said he was fine. Everybody thought he was okay. But then he's doing it again. So you know, we'll see it's the true. next. Who knows when his next movie will come out, and he'll say he's done. Sometimes people just need help. And yeah, I think that's... definitely. And well, I mean, he just needs to take a break yeah. maybe, mm -hmm. for a little bit and focus on Well, I mean, the same thing happened to, um, uh, what's the actor's name on Seinfeld, who uh, also oh, yeah. has yes, his the, racial uh, incident. Yeah, the tall Kramer, I, that yeah, Kramer. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, this thing has happened a lot. So who knows we'll, if we'll see someone do it again. With, yeah. Know, someone really famous. Is someone replacing him? Well, um, I don't know what this uh, deal with that is, but Robert mm -hmm. Downey Jr. and... Um, the uh, the yeah. bearded fellow yes, from The Hangover. Yes. They're starring in a new movie, Due Date, and oh, Mel Gibson that, that. helped Robert Downey Jr. get his second chance, and so Robert Downey Jr. was really pushing for Mel to be in The Hangover, and it's apparently created tension in the promotions of Due Date because Robert Downey Jr.'s co-star was one of the people that got Mel fired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, because yeah. he was in the original Hangover, mm -hmm. right? That is crazy. Okay, my only question... Is Bradley Cooper still in the second one? Really? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> that's really the only character yeah, that no, matters. The only yeah. character Bradley that Cooper's going to be back. Everybody's okay. back in this. Oh, the original cast. The original, oh, the original cast. cast. Okay. Yeah. okay. They made it. The original them, cast. It be the same. Oh my goodness. Interesting. What Ooh. other topics do we have? I don't know, actually. Do we have any? I think that concluded everything. Well, there okay. we go. Well, if you guys have any questions in regards to the morning show, just check out our website at sju.ca. And you can also visit our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page and a group, so check us out, join us, catch some of the episodes, and you can see us on uh, the main Facebook page as well. We're tweeting all the time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And have, have a, a great, great morning. Day.